What is going on guys? Man, trip out. The fishing videos are back. I'm here with my good friend, uh, Brian. Actually, my neighbor. <laughs> Professional fisherman. And uh, we are out in Temecula, exploring a little bit. Hopefully do some good catfishing. And uh, you never know, maybe tonight, catch and cook when we get home. We'll see, let's get into it. I like to do is uh, I like to get in the grass down here on the east end of uh, Lake Skinner and I'm sitting in about eight feet of water and now I'm getting ready to prepare my mackerel. These are all fresh mackerel so what I do is I don't have to put anything on it I just take the mackerel as it is then I'll fillet it and then I'll uh, put it out there for bait but I keep ice on my mackerel to keep my mackerel from getting mushy. So what happens is when you go out and you have nice good mackerel, the oils from the mackerel is what's gonna attract the fish. Then you come in here and you cut your chunks about that big. Then you take your chunks and put them right down on ice. The fresher the better. You hook this bait this way, that's the hard part. Then you roll it back on itself. I use a worm, long shank worm hook, and then I hook it back out in there. So what happens is as this hits the water, all the flakes from the meat comes off and that's what attracts the fish. So that's another reason why you want to make sure your bait is nice and fresh because you're going to have to cast this. So once you cast it, you want it to be able to stay on the hook. But you'll see that that's the way I do it, just like that. And you're good to go. You just cast that out like that. You point the rod towards it, you leave the bell open and then you just wait for that line to start running. Kitty cat. Hello, <laughs> sir. Hello, Mr. Whiskers. You just got to make sure you see how I'm holding him like this because they have barbs right here, here, and here. And if they go inside your hand, they'll hurt. So if you grab them underneath like this, it's a lot safer for you. This guy's done. Time to go get another. Brian, how to fish. Bye. There you have it, folks. Here's Georgie's one for three. I wasn't gonna say anything about that, but one for three. Nice, beautiful, this is a stock catfish. This is what we call a great catfish. This is one that they just put in recently when they stocked the lake. And these are really, really good eating. Nice white fillets on them. And George finally managed to get one out of the bushes. Great job, George. All right, guys, so uh, we have Brian here. He's, he's too far in. Excuses. He kept me, he caught me sleeping, man. I was, I was getting a little lunch. Brother's trying to get a sandwich and keep this physique together. And I look up and this thing is almost to the land, running back over there to the land. So um, this one here is not gonna look good. I'm gonna have to break him off. Cause I ain't gonna be able to get him out of there. He is so far back. He's in the third roll of toolies over there. Oh yeah, she's out. Yeah. Oh yeah, she's out. She was down in them bushes. Here she comes. 
Oh, that's a big one. There she is. Beautiful. Beautimus. Beautimus. Let's go. Calm it down, tiger. Calm it down, tiger. There she blows. Oh. Calm it down. You're okay. There you go. Looking good, baby. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Let's see. Let's see. There's another beautiful gray fish. Damn. Kitty, kitty, witty, witty. Let's go. Hello, kitty. All right. Brian on another one. Ooh. Ooh. Got a fighter. Here go freight train, Willie. Get up here, freight train. Can you handle that one, son? Uh, I think I so. Want to, I don't want to. Go, right. Let's go, baby. Let's go. That's a big boy. <laughs> you going to be able to handle that one, son? That's a big boy. Are you trying to say that I'm weak? Well, I'm just saying he almost half sized you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he, he almost weighs as much as you, son. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Kitty Kitty. Oh, look at this guy. Jeez. There you go. Yeah, it is about my size. Yeah, it's about your size. Hello, lover. Hello, lover. <laughs> That's a nice size kitty cat. That's a big boy. So what are you using to catch these things? My secret bait. <laughs> you have to you have to you'll have to stay tuned to the next episode <laughs> and I'll show you what the secret bait is. <laughs> Hello. Welcome to your new community. <laughs> hey, what are you eating there? <sighs> Tuna? Right there. Oh boy. <laughs> Gotta get it now, sons. Mmm. Have the blueberry scones. Homemade blueberry scones from the wife. Gotta have those. I can't control what the fish do, but I can control what I do. Lake Skinner is just 10 miles northeast of Temecula. This is a great place if you do want to bring your family. Uh, you can do tent camping, picnicking, hiking, horseback riding, boating, sailing, fishing, pretty much everything you could think of. The only bad thing about this place, since it is a reservoir, you are not allowed to swim in the lake. So if you're planning on doing any type of swimming, this is not the place for you. But if you want to fish, if you want to bring your boat, launch, and just have a great time on the lake, this is a perfect place to do that. When it comes down to fishing for this particular species, which is catfish, it's been a long time since I've done it. I remember going to Lake Lake, all the local lakes with my dad, and bringing home some catfish, man, it was good eating. And to finally be able to do it again, I'm absolutely thankful for Brian for inviting me. This guy came over last night. I was like, hey, dude, I'm going fishing. If you want to come, you got to be at my house at 3 a.m. And the fact that we're neighbors, all I had to do is wake up, walk right over, get on the boat, and roll out. So, Brian, if you're watching this, dude, it's been a good time. All right, guys, after a solid day of fishing, Time to go back home. I know, man. It's always <laughs> that time, man. This is the time we all look at and go, man, can we get a few more hours, maybe? Where did time go, man? It goes by. Unbelievable. <laughs> so we just made it back to the dock. It was an absolute blast. It was really hard to film and fish at the same time. For the most part, I was able to get Brian and I was able to get myself on a couple hookups, but man, it was an absolute blast. Started at 6 a.m. It's now four that's a total of what nine hours of solid fishing or so and we slayed the catfish our bait tank is absolutely filled we didn't necessarily hit our limit but we didn't really need to hit our limit because we have plenty of fish to go home and just gives them to the family, gives them to the neighbors. Now you already know what to do if you wanna continue watching videos like this and you wanna watch more fishing stuff, let me know down below in the comments. I'll be more than happy to continue coming out with Brian and doing some solid fishing. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode and I'll see you guys later. Peace. Check it out. Oh yeah. There goes some kitty cats. Oh yeah. Kitty what do you think? Chocolate. Fried? We're we gonna fry them? You can fry whatever you want to do, son. Damn. Let's go. Whatever you want to do, son. By the way, guys, see this big one right here? 
That was all me right there. Oh, here comes the <laughs> stories. I knew that was coming. <laughs>